So I work in a record store and I get asked by dads all the time what they should get for their teenage daughters for their birthday or for another holiday. What do they ask you? Because I'm a teenager. Makes some sense. Yes, it does. So these are some things that I've picked out in the past and that I think would be great. So I have Let It Be by The Beatles, which is a great starring record in a collection because this has some of The Beatles' greatest songs on it. So Very cool. I think it's really good to have. And we have Queen's Greatest Hits because it's a classic. And it has my favorite song in the whole wide world on it. Bicycle. I want to, <laughs> to ride, ride my bicycle. bicycle. Bon Jovi Slippery When Wet. Reason being for this one, it's an older album as well. But it's great to have in your collection. It has some of their greatest songs on it. So I think it's awesome and great to own. I own it myself. So I think it's awesome. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd The Wall. And this is one of my favorite albums personally, which is why it's in here. Because you don't need no education. <laughs> Teachers, leave those kids, kids alone. alone. So I think it's something great to have. I think most people need it in their collection. Absolutely. And we have Elton John. And I think it's something great to have. I love Elton John. Most people do. So it's older. I think it's wonderful. Very entertaining. Yes. Fleetwood Raccoon Rumors, because you can't go wrong. Stevie Nicks sings. It's amazing. And Mumford and & Sons. And they're pop. But a lot of people like them. I like a couple songs by them. So I think it's something that... You think it's a good choice? Yes, I do. Because a lot of people seem to like it. And they have some songs that still play on the radio. So it's current. And we have Shawn Mendes. And when I was in middle school, people went crazy over this. People still do. He's still making music. So I think it's something great to have uh, Stitches on it, which is one of his best songs. So I think it's something very important to have if you are a fan. Especially teenagers. Mm. And classic. Can't go wrong with it. My Chemical Romance, Welcome to the Black Parade. Great album. A lot of people tend to like it. And they are still touring. And they're still somewhat making music. They're back. Yes, they are back. Okay. So I think it's something very important to have. Because teenagers are getting re back into them. Because it's been on the news. And with it's been shown on radio stations as well. I got, I got to intervene here. I know. Do you think emo is coming back? I do think that it will. I think it will have another comeback. But okay. I, I think that would be great, too. I love this genre. Linkin Park. And this has some of their best songs on it. Yeah, it really does. It does. And Lady Gaga can't go wrong. It's something that is very important to have. I have it, too. And as Born This Way, great song. Very inspirational. Basically tells a girl, it's okay to be who you are, which I think is a very important message to have. So you really can't go wrong with it. The Killers. I think everyone knows why. The Killers. <laughs> yes, right after Lady Gaga, we have The Killers. Yes. Yes, because Lady Gaga is so inspirational that she needs some killers after. Led Zeppelin, Physical Graffiti, classic. Billy Joel, 52nd Street, has some of his greatest songs on it. Piano Man is something that's also really good to have, because Piano Man's on it. Duh. So. Imagine Dragons. Foo Fighters, Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boy, I think, is also very important to have because they're still making music, but they've went more pop. This is an older album by them, so I think it is important to have as well. Do you know how long Fall Out Boy's been around for? Years. A lot of years. Yeah. And but they're still very relevant. Yes, they are. They put a new album recently. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Billie Eilish. And Billie Eilish. Amazing. She has won a couple of Grammys. Amazing. And she's around, she's a teenager. She's 17 or 18 now. So I think it's something that's very important to have as well. She wrote her own music? She did. She's something that's very good to have. And she dresses the way that she wants to dress. She says a lot of positive things, too. But she doesn't smile often. No, she doesn't. So if your daughter doesn't smile, she'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pop, and it's played on the radio a lot. Like, this is her recent album that came out. It has Bad Guy, which is... One of her most popular songs. Absolutely. Yes. This is her first album. And she has some crazy music videos. Yes, she does. Absolutely. Blink-182. Beck. Arc Monkeys. Alt-J. He's on the radio a lot. 
I didn't know this, but he was on the radio a lot. I didn't realize until I was listening to B104. And yeah, this album sells a lot, which is why I point out the people a lot. I gotta say, I'm very unfamiliar with Alt J. They're pop. They're on the radio a lot. We used, to, we used to have a guy who would come in and fix our turntables. Mm -hmm. And his name was Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And he has a license plate, Alt-J. Yeah. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? Yes, it is. Yep. Khalid. Okay. And he made a song with Billie Eilish as well. All right. That was a really good song. Kanye West. Lizzo. Lizzo's very inspirational. And she's very body positive, which I think is a very important message to spread. So. She's not exactly the most uh, fit woman in the world. No, but it's all, that's all right. And it's okay that it all hangs out. Yeah, that's basically what her message is. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it says on the cover. Post Malone. Something else that's, that's been selling a lot is the Post Malone pop. It's because everybody likes to face tattoos. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it in good. Yes. Yeah, so I think it's very important to have that as well. Reason being, it's relevant. It's still currently playing. He's a newer artist. It's rap. But a lot of people now, there's a listening to rap. So. It's hip-hop. Yes. God forbid you call it rap. I know, hip-hop, my bad. Yes. Nirvana. Nirvana's played a lot. So I think that's very important to have in someone's collection. I have this album. I have like five of their albums. I think it's very important to have in a collection, especially for someone who is young. If she has a flannel jacket in her closet, yeah. she'll like Nirvana. I have plenty of them. <laughs> yep. That's how you know. Yeah. But Nirvana's a really good band. And Taylor Swift. Most people know why Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's pop. But she's still relevant. She put out a new album recently. It's not on vinyl yet. You know why you picked that album? Because it has Blank Spaces on there. I know. Blank Spaces is a really good song. I think this is one of her most positive ones as well. And it's just, it's a happy album. I agree. And Teresa, I believe this one came out in like 2015. Yes. All right. Yes. So those are records. Yes. Pretty much that you would get, you would choose for a teenager. Yeah, like I've helped many guys pick these out for their daughter. Excellent. So I think they're very important to have in your collection, and that I highly recommend these albums. Okay. If you really don't know your daughter's music taste, that these are a good go-to, because you can introduce them to the Beatles if they already don't know who they are. It's just important to have. Now, if your daughter's into metal, there's really not much metal in there. Yeah. I got my chemical romance, but they're not metal, but they're closer. Lincoln Park is closer, I yeah. think. Yeah, Lincoln Park's really good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify them as metal. No. But, but yeah, there's definitely some great, great songs on that yeah, one. Definitely. Hybrid Theory is their best album by far. I completely agree. All right. Now what are they going to do? They're going to click the like button. They're going to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. 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 Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. So I do a video just every once in a while, and I'll see you next time. Once in a while? Once in a while. Still once in a while. Is Still that like, on schedule. Is that kind of like a blue moon? Kind of. <laughs> At least it's not a red mood. What? Red moons are cool, though. <laughs> mm. Aliens. Really? Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Mm -hmm.